you on a Friday night. That's Zub Mahenti. We have a lot to get to, and let's start with DeMar DeRozan's return to Toronto as a spur. Probably looking a little bit more forward to the reaction than the dude he was traded for when he made mm. his particular homecoming. That would be Kawhi who got booed. DeMar, anything but. Here we go. Let's go to Toronto for his return. Playing his first game north of the border as the Spurs take on the Raptors. DeRozan, basically their all-time leader in everything. Welcome back, kid. From USC, a 6'7 forward, number 10, DeMar DeRozan. He said he expected a standing ovation. He got it. A little different than when Kawhi returned to San Antonio. You remember this? 6 7 forward from San Diego State, number two, Kawhi Leonard. 6 9 forward from New Mexico State. In all fairness, I think both expected the reactions that <laughs> yeah, they got. So. DeRozan, it counts. And the foul. Now, remember, after he was traded, he said, quote, I was depressed. He went on Twitter and said I was really having a tough time dealing with it. And then, oh, nice move around to Baca. Remember, he said, I am Toronto, as I mentioned at the top of the program with the spin. That's how identified he was Ooh. with the city. Beautiful move. He had 11 and three dimes, Bucci, in the first half. None sweeter than those two, huh? Man, let's pick it up later in a second. Just a little bit too much. He had it going. But remember, in the first game, the Spurs won on their home court. We'll see if the Raptors can return the favor in the second and final regular season meeting in the fourth. This is good. Leonard, DeRozan, Bucci, one-on-one. -on -one. Who you got? Leonard, beautiful. Raptors up three. Here we go, 50 seconds to go. One-point game. DeRozan, Bellinelli, where you at? Got it! Spurs up two after a missed free throw by the Raptors. Spurs have it. They're up a point. DeRozan, how's this for poetic justice? Stripped, and it's Kawhi that takes it back the other way. The two essentially traded for one another. DeRozan coughing it up. Kawhi, those two inextricably linked, Bucci. Again, here we go. One point, Toronto lead. Who you got? Got the switch. He's got an opportunity, Bucci. Danny Green got a score against him. Instead, he goes to Bertans. Great defense. I'm not going to call this ill-advised, but let's call it ill-advised. didn't have to shoot. Yeah. What was the deal with that? Good defense by Danny Green on DeRozan. No question. Now, we're going to take a look at this because it appears as though Lowry was out of bounds when he got the rebound. But Lowry was out of bounds when he got the rebound, but then he came back in mm. to get the rebound. So it's Raptors ball. Raptors inbounding. 1.1 seconds to go. Lowry, Ooh. Leonard, hang court. on, that's a great point. This could this could be backcourt on Kawhi Leonard, but instead they're going to call it a foul on the Spurs. That sure looks like backcourt. I agree, Leonard makes both free throws, point two to go. You can't really have any drama here, Bucci, because unless it's point matter, Raptors win. DeRozan still a great game after the game, George Sedano with his old running mates. Obviously, a lot of emotions tonight with DeMar coming in here. I saw you speaking to him after the game. What was said there? Oh, uh, no, that's my guy. I told him I love him, and uh, best of luck the rest of the season, and uh, make a playoff push. What's going through your mind there as your friend and your former teammate is turning the ball over? We're going to get this win. Right now, on this basketball floor, it's hitting me. But uh, we did a great play. We didn't foul, and uh, it was a good decision. Why I turned him, I came and got a steal. Why I got the ball, dunked it, and uh, we won the game. That's all that matters. It was a great atmosphere. The fans, you you know, they show the appreciation for what he's done for the organization, what he's done for this uh, franchise. But uh, that's just a classic move by, you know, the fans, and the tribute was great. Um, but while it matters is we got the win tonight. How do you compare to yesterday, the breaking up with your girlfriend? But it's, it's like that moment when you see her for the first time after the outbreak of your heart jump. Yeah, you be like, damn, she's still fine with it. Yeah, you be like, damn, she's still fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> that's good stuff. Soft-spoken, but you know what he meant when he said. Leonard struggled in the first half, going just 2 for 12, 6 points. But he got it going in the second half, 19, 6 for 11 from the field, 7 for 8 from the line, and that key steal, Bucci, that he was able to take the other way and help that second half surge for the Raptors. Look at the month Paul George is having. Just seven games so far, but he's averaging 38 per this month. That's on pace to be the highest by any player in the month of February since Kobe's 40.6 back in 02 and 03. OKC, third in the West, a couple games back 
of Denver. The Jazz are sixth in the West. There's Donovan Mitchell for three. Jazz are 14 and six since the New Year. That's the fourth best in the West. Hmm. Uh, fourth best in the league, I should say, behind the Warriors, Bucks, and Raptors. Dennis Schroeder, Jay Crowder attempts to draw the charge. They're tangled up a bit. Crowder's kind of walking away. He's usually in the middle of stuff. That's true. See, uh, Schroeder grabbed his leg there as he, he was stepping over him kind of dismissively. Didn't like that. I wouldn't like Mitchell again, 21 in the first half. But the Jazz are down. So Oklahoma City, they've won 11 of 13 since January the 19th and winning convincingly by seven and a half points. Russ is on. He's got he's got his swag back again. For a while there, early in the season, he wasn't shooting well. He was deferring big time. And now the two of them, George and Westbrook, are working in unison, and it, it's working. We mentioned George's prolific production this month. Russell's got his bark back and his bite back. There's Jay Crowder for three. So right now it's a good game over on ESPN. Thunder League bites you. His football team has been the subject of multiple investigations over the years. But on Friday, as you well know, Pat's owner Robert Kraft is now the subject of one himself. Police in Jupiter, Florida, filing two misdemeanor charges saying Kraft was twice captured on video paying for a sex act at an illicit massage parlor. Kraft, who is 77 years old, would likely, as a first-time offender in Florida, be allowed to enter a diversion program and avoid jail. Law enforcement explained, though, there will be a warrant out for his arrest. What are the names on the list? Can you confirm for us that that name is the high-profile individual and professional sports franchise owner that we believe it to be? And could you please speak to that name and that situation? Yes, sir. He he is one of the individuals. Who he is. Uh, that would be Mr. Robert Kraft. Robert Kraft, the owner of the New England Patriots. Yes, sir. And what is he being charged with? He's being charged with the same offenses as the the others and that is soliciting another to commit prostitution. And how many accounts may he face? Uh, right now we have two. So that would be two separate incidences or visits to the Orchids of Asia Day Spa or one visit with multiple charges from that one visit? Uh, two different visits. To be clear, the video evidence has Mr. Kraft in that room allegedly receiving those who paid acts allegedly illegal. So, uh, the question was, uh, does the video contain Mr. Kraft inside receiving the alleged acts? The answer to that is yes. He will not be arrested, correct? He's being issued a notice of appearance? Uh, he is not a resident of the state of Florida, so there would be an arrest warrant issued. So there's an active warrant for him right now? Well, it's in the process with the state attorney right now. They've been handed the entire case packet and all the filing charges, and they'll, they'll be taking that process forward. Now, Robert Kraft's spokesperson today issued this statement, quote, we categorically deny that Mr. Kraft engaged in any illegal activity. Because it is a judicial matter, we will not be commenting further, end quote. Now, our Jeff Darlington has been working this stunning story all day. He joined SportsCenter from Foxborough, Massachusetts. Jeff, what's been the reaction where you are? Well, Zubin, quite frankly, it is very quiet here in Foxborough, as expected. Players certainly not here in February. Robert Kraft not here. And in the building, they're simply getting ready for the scouting combine next week. So really a very quiet scene in Foxborough. Okay, so that's the scene at the moment there, not much percolating. But moving ahead, as far as the league is concerned, what does the NFL have to weigh as they determine their next course of action here? Well, this Zubin is where things get very interesting because the NFL does not require any situation when it comes to the legal side of this. Instead, when we look at the personal conduct policy, we see, see in there that it states very clearly ownership does have traditionally been held to a higher standard and will be subject to more significant discipline when violations of the personal conduct policy occur. Now, that doesn't require breaking the law even. Ultimately, in this situation, it can just be, quote, the damages, the reputation of others in the game and undercuts public respect and support for the NFL. So Robert Kraft will certainly have to deal with these misdemeanor charges of soliciting prostitution. But even aside from that, the NFL will continue to investigate on their own in this situation. They will look into this matter and ultimately decide whether to discipline Robert Kraft aside from the legal ramifications. So we are talking, Zubin, about two very clear distinctions 
that the NFL will face. Interesting. We should also note the release of video eventually, if at all, could completely change the paradigm of the investigation as the NFL has found out firsthand on multiple occasions. That's our Jeff Darlington in Foxborough. Now, we should mention the National Football League also released a statement saying it's, quote, aware of the ongoing law enforcement matter and will continue to monitor developments. The Pats' former standout linebacker, Teddy Bruschi, played his entire career under Bob Kraft in New England. Now an ESPN football analyst gave his thoughts on the situation. This is a hard thing to communicate about. And it's very difficult when my youngest son comes up to me and he's, he's heard about it before I did, and he says the word prostitution. So surprised and shocked is an understatement. If, I guess that's a big if, if this were true, I'd be extremely disappointed. All of, fan, all of the fans of the New England Patriots are holding on to that, you know, that two-sentence statement that he released saying that uh, you know, the crafts category, categorically deny anything illegal that happened. So the New England Patriots are in the fabric of all of the families here in this region. It's a tough, confusing time right now for myself, for a lot of fans of the New England Patriots. I mean, you can probably hear in my voice, it's, it's, it's a tough day for everyone here in New England. Again, just to review the details of the investigation, there's been a long day, a lot of details coming out. Police say Kraft is facing two counts of misdemeanor solicitation of prostitution. He was not arrested, but police say a warrant will be issued next week. And in a statement, Kraft's representatives denied any wrongdoing, while, as we mentioned, the NFL says it will continue to monitor the situation here. More to come on the Sports Center. A star studded leaderboard in Mexico, World Golf Championship. Dustin Johnson's playing really well. He's your leader, and Tiger hit one of the best shots of his career, in my opinion. Wow. We'll show you that coming up on that golf highlight. There's a the tease. I, you bet. Pitch clock and baseball. Yep. They're trying it out in spring training. We'll give you the details on what this is all about. This is Sports Center.